Oh, tis more than need. Have at you, then, affections, men at arms. Oh, we have made a vow to study, lords, and in that vow we have forsworn our books. For when would you, my liege, or you, or you, in leaden contemplation, have found out such fiery numbers as the prompting eyes of beauty's tutors have enriched you with? Other slow arts entirely keep the brain, and therefore, finding barren practicers, scarce show a harvest of their heavy toil. But love, first learned in a lady's eyes, lives not alone immured in the brain, but with the motion of all elements, courses as swift as thought in every power, and gives to every power a double power above their functions and their offices. It adds a precious seeing to the eye. A lover's eyes will gaze an eagle blind. A lover's ear will hear the lowest sound when the suspicious head of theft is stopped. Love's feeling is more soft and sensible than are the tender horns of cuckold snails. Love's tongue proves dainty, Bacchus gross in taste. For valor, is not love a Hercules, still climbing trees and Hesperides? Subtle as Sphinx, as sweet and musical as bright Apollo's lute strung with his hair. And when love speaks, the voice of all the gods make heaven drowsy with the harmony. Never durst the poet touch a pen to write until his ink were tempered with love's sighs, or then his lines would ravish savage ears and plant in tyrants mild humility. From women's eyes this doctrine I derive. They sparkle still the right Promethean fire. They are the books, the arts, the academes that show, contain, and nourish all the world. Else none at all in aught proves excellent. Then fools you were, these women to forswear, or keeping what is sworn, you will prove fools. For wisdom's sake, a word that all men love, or for love's sake, a word that loves all men, or for men's sake, the authors of these women, or women's sake, by whom we men are men. Let us once lose our oaths to find ourselves, or else we lose ourselves to keep our oaths. It is religion to be thus forsworn. For charity itself fulfills the law, and who can sever love from charity?